So we've been thinking about the uh, metric tensor, which describes, um, which comes into play when trying to find distances in space. And by analogy, it comes into play when we want to find distances, so to speak, in space-time. And we, we show that if the space is flat, or the space-time is flat, then this object can be put into a specific form with ones on the diagonal or uh, ones and minus ones on the diagonal for space-time, for a flat space-time. And now we want to show that if we have a curved space, that uh, is not possible. So let's say that we have a, let's think of a sphere, so I'm going to try to draw sort of a section of a sphere. Um, uh, so, you know, Z and X, Y, and Z, and uh, the uh, area of of, a, of the surface of a sphere right, is the result of integrating little surface elements. And so here's a little uh, surface element, a little area. And a given uh, coordinates theta and phi, um, right, a, a distance along here uh, involves uh, this distance and this distance, right, Pythagoras' theorem, and uh, this distance here is r d theta, whereas this distance is uh, r sine uh, theta uh, d phi. Right, so this is this is d phi. This is d phi, um, and this is d d theta in here. Maybe it should be like that. I messed the drawing up if I go into further detail there, but the the line element uh, on the surface of the sphere looks like. So the line element squared, the, the squared infinitesimal distance looks like r squared d theta squared plus r squared sine squared theta d phi squared. Right, that's a little distance along there that has, uh, these are the sides of the uh, triangle. And so the metric in the spherical coordinates on the surface of a sphere looks like r squared zero, right? These are the components, zero and r squared sine squared theta. And clearly that surface is curved and it's not flat and so it's not going to be possible to uh, go from an object uh, like this to an object like that. So <clears throat> uh, let's uh, see this mathematically, right? So in other words, um, we want dx squared, you know, if we have a flat space, then, and, and we write it in, in Cartesian coordinates, then it looks like this, an infinitesimal distance looks like this, and with this metric. So we want to transform from one coordinate system to the other, uh, and we'll find that this will fail. We won't be able to get a uh, metric from this form to that form, or vice versa. So, Let's do what we did last time. Let's write the coordinate transformation. We know that x is equal to r um, sine uh, theta uh, uh, 
a cosine of phi, uh, y is equal to r uh, sine theta sine of phi. Um, and uh, let's do uh, dx. So uh, our dx is dx by d theta, d theta plus dx by d phi, d phi, and that's our cosine theta, cosine phi, d theta, uh, minus r sine theta sine phi d phi and dy is dy d theta <coughs> d theta plus dy d phi d phi and that is our cosine theta sine phi d phi plus our sine theta cosine phi d phi. And now we can uh, add them together. Well, we're going to square them and add them together. So we have dx squared plus dy squared is equal to <clears throat> r squared cos squared theta um, cos squared phi d theta squared plus r squared sine squared theta sine squared phi d phi squared um, <clears throat> we have minus 2r squared sine theta cosine theta sine phi cosine phi d theta d phi uh, sorry, uh, uh, plus r squared cos squared theta sine squared phi d theta squared plus r squared sine squared theta cosine squared phi d phi squared plus 2r squared sine theta cosine theta sine phi cosine phi d theta d phi which is equal to <clears throat> this object is the same as this these two cancel out um, and these two will combine to give us like the, the sine squared phi and the cosine squared phi will give us one and we'll end up with um, the uh, r squared cosine squared 
theta, d theta squared plus r squared sine squared theta d phi squared. And what we want is this. And what we have is this. So we can see that this needs to be one, and it's one for specific values of theta, but for the values of theta to make this one, this is this goes to zero. So it's clearly not true that it's possible to find uh, a metric that everywhere uh, looks like this, and that's a signature that we are dealing with a curved space. And so <clears throat> we will see that this is equivalent to thinking about uh, this kind of object as representing a uh, sheet, right? So, uh, uh, that's a, a sheet is a flat surface, and this is a curved surface, and a sheet and a curved surface like that can only meet at one point. And so it's not possible everywhere to find uh, a transformation that gets us from this to this. It will only be possible at one point.